Um, I've been saving this question for you to come in since I, um, mm. well, I, I know that you and Chad of Unspoken are next door neighbors. <laughs> yes. So, and he's a dear friend of mine, a dear friend of yours. Yes, sir. Uh, so this is all in love. But what is the biggest complaint you would tell the <laughs> HOA about regarding Chad <laughs> if they've pressed you, if they pressed the issue? Yeah. Well, so Chad is from the Northeast. And the thing with Chad is he, uh, you can hear him before you can see him. He is the loudest man in the neighborhood. So like he'll, he'll walk out his front door and I won't see him, but I'll hear his voice in that Northern accent, you know? And I'm like, Chad, dude, you got to use your inside voice, even though he's outside. I will tell you this. The thing with Chad Matson and his wife, Katie, and their kids is that they're northern, so they're like me, and they can be fairly blunt, and we can be abrasive at times because we, we're not able to um, mix truth with the kind of grace that we should, you know? But his character, how he treats my wife, my kids, my family, how they look out for us when we're gone, and I hope how we look out for them when he's gone, um, just demonstrates the kind of man he is, the kind of band they are. He's, he's an incredible human being. And I'll, you know what? When I'm bigging the man up, let's just be honest, I think he's one of the top two singers in our whole format, in our whole genre. Incredibly gifted man, and every success they have, I'd be cheering him on. You know, he was over yesterday when I was taking the bins out, the trash out, yeah. and uh, we were talking about his his number one song, The Reason. Yeah. And I'm just like, bro, you need to celebrate that, you know, because you actually deserve it. You've worked incredibly hard. Because yeah. I see those sacrifices he makes because yeah. we're neighbors and friends. Well, I should have led with this before you just gave him a bunch of compliments <laughs> because on our airwaves last year, he ratted you out. <laughs> and he said, he said, because uh, we got to talking about me and having a little farm in my backyard. And he's like, yeah, Darren's got one of those. He was actually... He got all the neighbor. He need, he got a bunch of soil for his. He calls it his garden, but it's his little backyard farm <laughs> garden. He's like, but he got every kid in the neighborhood to haul dirt for him for free. <laughs> I'm like, bro, you can't do that. That's like child labor. You can't have kids hauling. I soil. did, I did. I had I had his son out there carrying bags of soil around for me, and uh, that's right. Actually, there's three or four other kids that just happened to be around. I, you know what? That's just, it's going to teach them. That's integrity. Hard work. It'll teach them, you know? Yeah. I probably should have paid them. Yeah. <laughs> Their dad should thank me. I just gave them a lesson in life. I don't know if any of them thanked me, to be honest. <laughs> I wouldn't have thanked me. 